Vouchers are not an answer. A plan to give public tax dollars to private schools dead on arrival at the state capitol. And that voucher program would have allowed parents to use $8,000 worth of taxpayer money per student originally earmarked for public schools and put towards private school tuition. But in a late afternoon decision, the House Speaker suddenly killed the plan. News 4's Austin Brissett has details. Dead on arrival. Thursday afternoon, Oklahoma House Speaker Charles McCall saying they will not hear the controversial backpack bill. A bill that, if passed, would have allowed the roughly $8,000 per child in state public school funding to travel with a student transfer to a private school. I've always been a person who believes that public dollars belong in our public schools uh, when it comes to our K-12 schools. We have put in a historic amount of money, record levels into public education. We will continue that commitment and we will not decimate public school funding. Senate Pro Tem Greg Treat speaking to reporters Thursday just hours before Speaker McCall made the call to not take up the bill. We are going to empower parents through the Oklahoma Empowerment Act uh, to give uh, the money, to allow the money to follow the student wherever they go. There are well over 30,000 private school students in the state, and the state would have been looking at over $300 million in taxpayer state aid being moved to private schools. Vouchers are not an answer. They're not a solution. It's only going to harm our public schools further. Governor Stitt originally advocating for the bill in this week's State of the State address, saying the bill would have made Oklahoma a national leader in school choice. Now, Stitt's spokesperson sending News 4 a statement in the wake of McCall's comments, saying, quote, Governor Stitt and 86% of school parents support Pro Tem Treat's Oklahoma Empowerment Act, citing an EdChoice public opinion tracker. EdChoice is an organization that, among other things, supports school choice. No child should be left behind, and no child should be in a situation where they can't get their best educational attainments. Rural Oklahoma school districts also said they were feeling the heat. Superintendent Tommy Turner from Batiste, Oklahoma, a small district in McCurtain County, says it would have destroyed public schools by draining their funding. This bill will, will fund education for 34,000 students. What about the remainder of the students in the state? It directly hurts every other student in the state. Yeah, that's a false narrative. Treat was adamant that would not be the case, arguing it's just a matter of school choice when public schools are not a good fit. But I can stand before you today and guarantee you that we're not going to adversely impact state aid formula to public schools. At the Capitol, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thank you. Now, the speaker's reasoning behind his decision to kill the bill was it would, he says, potentially harm rural districts.